Last week you mentioned dreams, prophets, Urim and Thummim as some of the, the means to which God spoke um, in the Old Testament, etc. We went through some of these um, various means. Let's go to the last battle before King Saul died. In 1 Samuel 28, the Bible says he was frustrated because he tried these three and none of them was working for him. Mm -hmm. So in his desperation, he asked for a medium mm -hmm. and he was sent to what was called the Witch of Endor. Mm -hmm. And he wanted to know the outcome of the battle. And she called up what was supposed to be the spirit of Samuel who correctly predicted what would happen that he would die um, in the battle. First of all, was that really Samuel? And, and then secondly, does the fact that the, the whatever apparition came spoke the truth justify the means through which that word was sought? I think to answer that, the first thing we have to keep in mind that the woman who divined the spirit was a witch. Right. Mm -hmm. So uh, that, that has to be clear before mm -hmm. you even determine whether it's a spirit of Samuel or not. Mm -hmm. This is a witch. And uh, and when it says which, it may not be necessary the way a Ghanaian uh, or West Africa will, will, will interpret what a witch is. But this would be a diviner or a medium, somebody who mediates between the spirit world and the natural world and uses all kinds of uh, spiritual engagement to bring messages to people, uh, mostly messages from the dead uh, dead people and supposedly uh, getting their ghosts to come up. So the person is a witch. She saw something that, and, and in other translations, it says that she operated in familiar spirits. Yeah. In, in the Jewish spiritual world, it was believed that there were people who operated something called a familiar spirit. And, and just by the definition of it, a familiar spirit is a spirit that is familiar. Mm -hmm. uh, it is believed that there are spirits that are familiar with people and can impersonate them mm -hmm. and replicate their voice, mm -hmm. replicate their posture, and say things that would appear as if those people are speaking. Um, it is difficult to it for any Christian to accept that a witch can divine a holy man of God from God's presence. That, that, that's not going to happen. So that entity obviously was not the spirit of Samuel. But the language was that of the familiar spirit. Uh, and, and the idea was that these spirits uh, and some will call them demons. Uh, I, I'm a bit technical with some of these words, whether it's demon or not. Mm -hmm. But these entities, I would just put it, yeah. entities, uh, impersonate. That's what a familiar spirit is. It impersonates. It's similar, like, you know, sometimes um, in our culture, they say somebody's dead and somebody says, uh, I went to the person came in my dream. The dead person came in my dream and said, maybe you haven't buried me well, go and bury me well, uh, take me from this place, you haven't treated me well. You know, messages from the dead. That was totally disapproved of in, in Israel. Uh, so God's people are not supposed to take a message through a medium from a dead entity. Uh, it may be accurate. Accuracy is no determination of source. Mm. Because if we're going to say something is accurate so the source is right, we're going to make a lot of mistakes. Mm. Uh, because the spirit world is a very wide world. And there are all kinds of entities at play in the spirit world that are not of God, who have access to information human beings do not have and can channel those information to human beings. So the fact that people can receive a certain information and be accurate about it does not mean it's of God. Wow. If he's channeling a dead person, mm -hmm. if somebody comes to you and says, your auntie says this, your grandmother said this, she's been dead for this long, and she says you should go and do A, B, C mm -hmm. for her to have rest, you are not the one to give your grandmother rest. Um, and that mm -hmm. definitely cannot be uh, the God, Yahweh, mm -hmm. the, the God of, 
of both the Old and the New Testament. So the accuracy of a message is not a justification of the source of that message. That's a good lesson for all of us.